Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill and in this video we're going to be talking about uh, the gross domestic product, right, which is usually referred to as GDP. Now GDP has been uh, one of the most important uh, you know, characteristic or let's say parameter based on which countries or economies uh, actually rank each other. Uh, however, we're not going to be talking about uh, is, is GDP a fair indicator of, a, of, of, of an economy's performance. We're going to be talking about that in, in some other video. But in this video, we're going to be talking about what exactly is gross domestic product and how do you measure it. Right? So what are the different ways to measure gross domestic product? So let's go ahead and get started guys right so let's suppose if let's suppose for example if you buy something for a dollar let's suppose you buy an apple for a dollar so if you buy an apple for a dollar what happens is then you realize that this dollar uh, this dollar to the consumer it's actually an output but this dollar to the seller is actually an income right which actually is going to be break is going to be broken into the transporter the, the person who's actually transporting it the person uh, you know the the middleman the wholesaler right and the producer right so that means this dollar that you've actually bought uh, it's output to you but it's actually income to so many people which means there is some relationship between output and the income that you spend right and if we want to find out what is the total what is the total value what is the total value of all final economic production in an economy so if you want to find out the total value of all economic production in an economy right so we can actually measure it in so many ways we can measure it in terms of income as well right we can measure it in terms of expenditure as well and we can measure it in terms of output as well now what are these three parameters now output is something that you produce right so you can measure the total final economic production in terms of output income is what people earn that is actually as you can see that income is related to output that means income can also help you to find out all final economic production in economy Similarly, the expenditure, the amount that people spend or the amount that the government spends can also be, can also be used, which is actually the most famous way to, you know, uh, you know, find the GDP of an economy. Even the expenditure can be used to find the, uh, you know, the value of the total economic production in an economy. Now, this is nothing but your gross domestic product right so if i were to go about the formal definition of the gross domestic product a country's gross domestic product is actually equal to the total value is actually equal to the total value of all economic production so that is equal to the total value of all economic production in a country right in a given year so we've actually added a year because we need to measure uh, what is the country's how is the country's total economic production pairing over a given period of time so we usually take that standard unit unit of time to be a year now gdp can actually be calculated uh, in three ways right it can be actually calculated using the expenditure approach it can be used to calculate using the expenditure it can also be calculated by the income as we said in the previous slide the income approach it can also be calculated using the output approach now let's talk about each approach one by one right now let's talk about the expenditure approach now how do we use the expenditure approach and how do we measure the uh, the gross domestic product so the expenditure approach counts the total spending. So what it does is it counts the total spending on final goods and services in a given year. So let's suppose, uh, you know, people are spending this many billion dollars on, uh, on final products, right? So that means that is actually going to be my gross domestic product. However, it's not as simple as that. You know, there are different, uh, you know, there are different types of final goods 
and there are different ways of consumptions and there are different bodies which are actually consuming. Now the first thing is what are final goods? Final goods are the goods which are ready for consumption. So final goods are goods which are actually ready for consumption. Right? So we do not take intermediate goods because if we count intermediate goods as well as final goods, we will actually end up double counting. Right? We'll be we'll be counting for the same product for more than once, which we actually we do not want because that will give us a fake uh, idea about the GDP or the gross domestic product of an economy. So we only talk about the final goods, not the intermediate goods. Now let's talk about what are the different parts of the expenditure approach. Right now, the first part of the expenditure approach is actually the consumption. Now, what do you mean by consumption? The consumption means, uh, you know, it's act it actually means the services and goods, the goods and services which are actually purchased by private household and individuals. So, this is goods and services which are actually consumed by the private households and individuals. Fine. So I suppose you're getting this point over here, right? Now, goods can be the goods. The goods can be actually of various various types. It can be durable goods, right? So durable goods are you know the goods which actually last for more than a year, and it can be non-durable goods which actually last for less than a year. Right, so it can be durable goods and it can be non-durable goods, which can actually durable goods last for more than a year, non-durable goods last for less than a year. Right, so that's that. Now the next thing is the investment. Now what do you mean by investment? It actually means the spending, the spending by firms and households. Right. So how do firms spend? They actually spend on capital goods. They buy machinery. Uh, you know, they buy buildings, right? So all this counts as the investment for firms. And what about households? What do they spend? So they actually, they actually invest on construction. They actually invest on housing, uh, you know, all those things, right? So, you know, so that, that is all considered, considered as the household, uh, you know, investment. Fine. The next parameter is known as the government spending. Now, what do you mean by government spending? It's actually the amount of money which actually government, uh, which is actually spent on government purchases, which includes the salaries that it pays, right? Uh, you know, and uh, it also includes, uh, you know, the, the government bonds and, you know, the capital goods on which the government invests, right? So all these parts come under government spending. Now just be sure that transfer payments, transfer payments do not come under uh, government spending. They do not come. What are transfer payments? It's like uh, the tax revenue which is redistributed to pensioners, to the unemployed. All those payments do not come under the government spending because uh, you know those do not count for any production. You know those just redistribution of income. Now that is there, and the next part is the net. Uh, you know the net exports which is actually equal to ex exports minus the imports right so that is there the export revenues minus the import revenues now if the net exports are greater that means the GDP is rising if the exports are greater than imports then the, the GDP is rising if the net exports are uh, you know negative that means the GDP is reducing Fine. So this is denoted as C, this is denoted as I, this is denoted as G, and this is denoted as X minus N. Based on all this, we can say that based on the expenditure approach, GDP is equal to the consumption plus investment plus government expenditure plus export minus import. Fine. So this is what it's all about. So let's suppose if I pick up an example, right? So let's suppose I talk about using the expenditure approach, we find out what is the GDP of US, the United States in the year 2009. So we will have the category here and we will have the, you know, what is the value? It's let's suppose this is in billions. So we have the consumption part. What was the 
what was the consumption? Let's suppose a uh, ten thousand billions. Let's suppose what is the private investment, which is let's say fifteen ninety billions. Let's suppose what is the government expenditure? Let's say two nine one four billions. And let's say what is export minus imports? That is negative three eighty six billions. Now why is this negative? Because imports is greater than exports. So the total gross domestic product using the expenditure approach came out to be one four one one. One four one one eight billion, right? So that is about the expenditure approach. So I suppose you're understanding this point over here. Now let's talk about the next approach, which is actually known as the income approach. Now, as in the in the in the beginning of the video, you know that uh, if you produce something, you will be paying incomes to people. So that income is actually counted as uh, you know as part of GDP, as part of gross domestic product. So what you can have is you can have you can have various categories of income. Let's suppose uh, one of the category can be the compensation to employees, right? So that's the first category. So the compensation to employees, right? Another income that you pay is rent. You know the rent collected also amount to that. The interest payments, right? See the interest that people receive. The proprietor's income, right? So that can actually be, uh, uh, you know, part of GDP. Then you have corporate income taxes, right? So corporate income taxes also count as GDP. So whatever tax they pay, uh, you know, it acts, act, you know, acts as part of GDP. Uh, another thing is the indirect business taxes, right? So indirect business taxes also count to the GDP. All right, so you know there are so many th different things. Another thing is net foreign national net foreign income, right? So net foreign uh, net foreign income is also going to be counted in your GDP, right? So all these things are going to be counted up in your GDP, and uh, there would be so different other many other factors. It depends upon economy to economy the way actually they consider it. But this is the income approach. You actually count up all the income, and uh, at the end of the day, you actually uh, you know find the gross domestic product. Uh, if you want to find out the gross domestic product on in US for the period of 2009, you would find that if you add up all the incomes, the, all the incomes again add up to this much if you actually look at the data, which means both the approaches are giving you, I'm sorry, this is eight, both the approaches are actually giving you the same income. Fine. So I suppose you're understanding this point over here, guys. So that is another approach or another way of measuring the, measuring the gross domestic income. Sorry, product. The next approach is actually the last approach, which is the output approach. Now, what is the output approach? Right? Okay. All right. So, what is the output approach? So, when it comes to the output approach, it's it's a little different. So, the output approach finds the total value. So, it finds the total value of final goods and services. Again, final goods and services produced in a year. So, whatever final goods and services were produced in a year, it actually just finds the the total value of it. It doesn't count the intermediate goods. It just counts the final goods. To avoid double counting again, you know, I'm going to be making sure that that happens there. Now you have various categories like how much do you how much do you produce in agriculture, right? Uh, how much do you produce in mining? How much do you produce in utilities, right? How much do you produce in construction, right? So whatever is the total value, uh, whatever is the total value that you produce. Let's suppose in agriculture, uh, you're pro you're producing value products worth of ninety nine point six. US billion dollars, right? Uh, you know, that is what you're producing. So what you do is you actually add them all up. Let's suppose, for example, you you have uh, how much how much retail trade do you do, right? Uh, how much uh, professional and business services that you have? How much finance, insurance, real estate, rental and leasing services that you have? How much uh, products worth educational, healthcare and uh, arts, entertainment, etc. All those all those count up in your total output approach. Fine. So I suppose you're understanding this point over here. And again, you're going to get the same gross domestic product. You're not going to get a different one. You're going to get the same gross domestic product. At the end of the day, all three approaches converge to the same number, right? So that's there. So the 
expenditure approach just takes care about the spending on final goods and services the uh, income approach finds out what is the uh, income paid to the uh, income paid uh, to produce those products and output approach talks about the total value of the final goods and services right so these are the three ways in which you actually measure gross domestic product right so thank you very much for watching this video guys right i suppose you've understood whatever we explained here uh, in the next video we're going to be talking about uh, the gross national product uh, versus the gross domestic product what are the differences in there right and uh, in the future videos we will still talk about the net national product uh, the you know the nominal versus the real gdp gdp per capita and all that but till now for now uh, that would be it guys so thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to explore our website uh, don't forget to watch the videos at profit-course.com and uh, explore our facebook page give us your valuable like and don't forget to send us your valuable feedback so this would be about this video guys thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one